crying babies. It's loud. It's every plane rider's worst nightmare. Okay, because you're, you're yelling. So is the baby! And if you're already stressed or anxious, crying baby definitely doesn't help the situation. So what if we could make it a little bit more bearable? Well, this person had the idea of auto-tuning a baby crying. So it sounds like it's kind of singing. Kind of a good start, but can I take it to the next step? Can I make a whole song from an auto-tuned baby? Hi, I'm Ash, welcome back to my channel and... But before we continue, really quickly, and if you're crying like a baby because your crush just asked if your music was on Spotify but you couldn't say yes, that's where this video sponsor comes in. DistroKid is a service that you can use to put your music onto online stores and streaming services. This means your music on Spotify, Apple Music, TikTok, Tidal, YouTube Music, Amazon. You get the idea. Coolest thing though is DistroKid collects earnings and payments and sends 100% of these earnings to artists, minus all the banking fees. But that revenue is yours. And on top of that, you can automatically split it if you collab. You have promotional tools like Hyperfollow, which gives you one page for all of your links once your music is out. You can add lyrics so people can sing along to your sadness. Time your releases globally and even more, but that's something I'll have to get to another time. Thank you to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. Now let's get on with it. So I stumbled on this random YouTuber that makes music from any kind of sound and it always turns out great. He also streams on Twitch, some sort of audio combat, so I decided to enter it. When it was revealed, the sample was an auto-tuned crying baby, and with myself being primarily a melodic music producer, I couldn't help but try to make a song out of this. Plus, with the baby already being auto-tuned, that means it's already perfectly pitched. So into Ableton I go, and the obvious choice is to turn this into a vocal chop. So to ease this process a little, a simple chord progression. Using my perfect pitch ears, that's a lie, I deduce the key down to a perfect B minor. <laughs> so the baby's crying, and I wanna make it feel better. Writing in a minor key, that would just make it even sadder. So let's put it onto something a little bit more uplifting. So I flip the relative major of B minor into D major. The classic four, three, six, five progression, AKA the anime progression, using my easy chord rack so I can make the progression using only the bass note. With this, I laid the perfect foundation for me to take the sample from into. Now to lay in the atmosphere, some soundscapes in the key of the song. And some vinyl static for mood and texture. With a nice atmosphere and chords in place, the intro was complete. But with the timer ticking down, I didn't have much time to make everything from scratch. So, to my lovable, dependable. Some auto pan to give the chords movement. But this wasn't thick enough. That's right. Can't forget the bass. Throw in some reverb throws. And making melodic bass music, I have so many options, so many choices for this drop. Like super saws on every eighth. Or even super saws on every sixteenth. Heck. Just take them off the grid completely. Put them out in the forest where they can live out their lives and produce music in peace without the pressure of conforming to society. Or we could just do Skrillex vocal chop. So for that, future bass drum pattern at 160 BPM. Put the sub on the root note of every chord and on top of every kick. Wait a second. Can't even hear that. Needs a bit of spice. Ah. 
Knowing I need a vocoder, I obviously need a carrier. Same chords and just a super saw. Don't overcomplicate it. Also copy pasted the vocal chop from the intro and bam. I now had a, a pretty good shell of a drop here. Now I needed the details. If I was a normal producer, yeah, I'd painstakingly like spend sound hours sound doing sound design, <laughs> creating cool growls or weird noises to put in between the main vocal chops. But with the end fast approaching, I knew the best route to take and opened up splice. <laughs> Another issue was the overall movement. It was bouncy, but still lacking that, you know what I mean? The, uh, you know, the, um, uh, the, the, I don't know. I'm just as lost. Maybe one day I'll figure out what I'm doing back here. Oh, I know. Let's just complimentary lead. But, uh, not too loud. Cause then it'll, um, drown out the baby. And we don't want to drown babies. <laughs> Mixing! And after working on it for a bit in retrospect, I probably could have added a few more variations to the drop. You know, the little things. They add up. But alas, I only had an hour and a half to cook this up, and I know that's not an excuse, so we live, we laugh, we love, as I lack the victory in audio combat that cemented this sentiment. And even though we're all grown up, we're all still crying. Except, it's all on the inside now. So it's good to let it out every now and then. Anyway. 